What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Dom Kizzy in the building. Can't wait to talk. And you know what? We gonna talk about it. Man, so excited. So just, man, I'm I'm grateful and I'm thankful. You know, been been kind of teared up. You know what I'm saying? I had to throw on the glass. I was like, I don't, you know, just in case my eyes are a little red. I don't want y'all to see, man. But, man, I, I'm, I'm truly blessed just to have this opportunity to come before y'all, man. Yet another time, yet another day. And y'all know what it is, man. It's weigh in Wednesdays, man. So we're going to weigh in and we're going to talk about it, man. It's, it's our weekly Bible study where we, <clears throat> you know, just expound on, on the Word of God. You know, take a, a topic, you know, follow it up with Scripture, man. Because with everything, you know, you want to be led by God. You want, you know, to, to, to have Scripture. And, and like I always tell y'all, you know, it. Don't don't just believe me and just say, oh, okay, yeah, a great word. You know, you know, back check, do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go back and read and and allow it to speak to you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, the revelation God gives me, you might not have the same revelation. So, you know, you always want to go back and read for yourself and understand for yourself, study for yourself so that you can have a better understanding. Because at the end of the day, you know, you got to walk out your own soul salvation. So, you know, as you're walking this life out, as you're trying to understand, you know, um, you know, you got to really do the work. You know, now I'm here, you know, to really just kind of get the ball rolling, you know, to kind of just point you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I I am a servant of the Lord Most High, you know, a servant of Jesus Christ. And, and this is this is my this is ministry for me. This is my mission, you know, to really go out here and really be able to teach and preach. And, and expound on the word of God and just really be vulnerable, you know, because I'm not perfect and neither are you perfect. None of us are perfect. But because of Jesus, you know, we are, are able to live a life that, 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 you know, can, can honor him. You know what I'm saying? As long as we are willing and obedient, you know, the word says in Isaiah 1, uh, starting with verse, uh, well, I think it's verse 19, if we're willing and obedient, you know, we'll eat the good of the land. And what is the land? It's the earth. You know, it's the earth that we live in every day. And so how much more greater will it be if we would just be willing to do the will of God, willing to to do his will and, you know, be obedient? You know what I'm saying? Like how much more will, you know, we eating off the land. It's cool. It's all right. It's, you know, you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of like when you when you eat some food and they be, how you like it? You like, you know, it's cool. It's all right. It's, it's all right. You know, it's not that bad. Oh, but when it but when it's the good of the land, when as soon as you bite into it, you like, mm, oh, mm, oh, 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 that this right here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That that's that's what that's that's what eating the good of the land really is. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're willing and obedient, it's like it just takes it to it that that whole other level. It takes you from satisfactory to excellent. You know, in school in elementary. You know, they, they, they give you the, the S's and the C's. I mean, not the C's. The S's and the, and the E's. You know, S is satisfactory reading. Like, yeah, they, they you know, it wasn't too far over here. It wasn't too far over there. You know, it wasn't too, you know, like, yeah, some days they was like, yeah, yeah. And the other day they were like, if you don't say now. But when you get that E, woo, that what? Hey, excellent always ready, always prepared, always on top of the game. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have in Christ. We got that E. We got that excellent if we are willing and obedient. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got it through the word, but I'm just, when I think about that, when I think about that, when I think about the opportunities that we have, I think about the access that we the access, you know, E, you know, I think about who, what we have in Christ. In Christ Jesus, it takes it to another level. See, we are living satisfactory lives. But if we are willing and obedient, we'll eat the good of the land, which takes us to that excellent, that, 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 you know, that VIP. You know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, that I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I went to this event and over the weekend and, uh, the seating, you know, they, they they had different, you know, seating arrangements. And so when I looked at my ticket, it said executive seating. So I'm like, okay, okay, 
I'm an executive. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. And then I seen what the executive seating was. See, on paper, they made it seem like, you know, like just the name itself, executive seating. I'm like, okay. Yeah, executive seating was at the top. But the VIP huh, was by the stage, up close and personal. I, I, please hear me when, when I'm saying this. The VIP was up close and personal. Now, mind you, you know, the tickets a little more. But my point is, just because it appears to seem like, just because the name make it appear to be like it's all of that, there's really only one top level, and that's VIP status. So where you at? Where you at in your life? Do you want to be satisfactory, or do you want to be excellent? Do you want just... Just the regular old land, or do you want the good of the land? So I said all that to say. When we are willing, and I'm thinking to myself, and obedient, we'll eat the good of the land. So, so when, when, when I come on here every Wednesday and I'm and I'm teaching and I'm preaching and I'm expounding on the word and I'm doing all that, I'm in my excellence. I'm in my, you know. But then now it's on you. Now it's your turn. Because, see, you can just hear me and be like, all right, cool. And you can walk on and continue to be satisfactory. But then when you take what, what you heard from me and then you say, well, let me crack open the word. Let me read for myself. And then, you, you know, you pray first and then you start reading. And then God downloading you. Then God start downloading you. Then you're like, ooh, <laughs> now you're reaching that, that VIP status. Because then guess what? Now that you didn't, didn't, didn't meditate on that word, you didn't chewed on that word, you didn't heard what I said and, and took a little bit of that, then, then you went and read it for yourself. And then now God is speaking to you. Now you're taking some of that. And then whoo, now you got a whole nother revelation. Now you're ready to go tell somebody else. And you see how that works? <laughs> I'm not a buy. You know what I'm saying? There's a song that back in the day, I wish somebody so would catch on fire. And if anybody know anything about a forest fire, all it takes is one tree to catch on fire. And once it catches on fire, then because of the trees that's next to it, they catch on fire. They catch on fire. They catch on fire. So if I'm on fire, and if I'm touching you, and you catch on fire, guess what happens? Your children, your, your spouse, your co-workers, people that you just meet down the street, People at the grocery store, all because you've done your due diligence. You've taken what you've heard. <laughs> and, and and I want you to hear, I really want y'all to hear me because what I'm saying, it, it lines right up to what, 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 I'm, what I'm coming from today. So before I go any further, Father, I thank you right now. I thank you for just even that little download. My God, I, did, I, I wasn't even expecting that, but I thank you, Father. For the download, but I thank you for the 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 prayer. The prayers of the righteous avail of much. So I thank you right now and ask Father that you will remove me out the way, so that your word will be heard in the, in, in in the hearts and in the minds of your people. And and for those who are just just passing by, <laughs> a passing by word, God, let 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 it sink down into their to their spirit, God, so that they can be touched, they can be filled, God, and they they can have a a greater understanding about where they are, where they're going in in their life, God. I pray that you bless each household that's that's tuning in and that's listening and 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 that you will continue to strengthen them in, in every aspect of their life. You are truly worthy of all the praise. You're worthy of all the honor, God, and there is none like you. Have your way in this place. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this way in Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? We about to weigh all the way in and we about to get into this word. So today, um, word is this scrolling on the screen can't wait to talk podcast they that wait yeah that's right they that wait and you know i know y'all like man everything he talk about is weight yeah uh-huh it, yeah every it is we living in a heavy world we living in we, we dealing with heavy situations we dealing with we and we got to have these weighty conversations 
because it's heavy out here. We carry in some 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 weight, not just physically. See, yeah, it, it's not just the physical weight. We carry stuff in our heart. We carry stuff in our minds, and we all over the place. So yeah, they that weight, and I'm coming from Isaiah. Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verses 28 through 20, I mean, verses 28 through 31. What's interesting about this, when I, uh, a, a lot of times before I even get scripture or whatever, I get a title. You know, I, 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 got, a, I got a lot of titles written down of different, you know, topics and stuff that I talk about. You know, so I know when y'all tune in on Fridays and y'all catch a, you know, my other episode, you know, those are topics that I got. I'm like, oh, I can expound on that. Oh, I, I want to, you know, be able to talk to this person, interview that person. And even when it comes to these Bible studies, it's like, man, uh, I, I, I get titles. So they that wait came in my, in my, you know, in my mind. I'm like, okay, they that wait. All right. Had no clue where I was going, as usual, because it's just a download. It's just, I hear it. And I'm like, man, let me write it down. You know, it sounds good. Let me write it down. So the other day, you know, the Holy Spirit like, all right, I want you to read Isaiah 40 through 42. And I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm reading. You know, I'm just like, okay, all right, good word, all right. And then, bam. What's so familiar with these scriptures is that growing up in church when I was a little kid, I used to hear this all the time. I used to hear it all the time. It was almost like the the the... You know, when the, when the, when the, when the pastor was like, I'm getting ready to close <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that, you know, that, that was his, he, you know, he was ramping it up when he got to this, this, you know, this scripture right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, and I'm, I'm gonna read it. I'm not going to do it like he would do, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, when they, when they get ready to close, <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> I, 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 you know, <laughs> I digress. But yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? So I heard this over and over and over. And, you know, I'm a kid. I'm, I'm just like, okay, I, you know, I guess that's just his closing remarks, his closing thing. Huh. So when I read it, I just, you know, tears just started flowing. I'm like, man, God, like for real. Not only was it familiar because of the simple fact that I grew up hearing it in church, but it ties right in. It ties right in to they that wait. So without further being said, Let's get it. I'm coming, um, the New King James Version. This is my Maxwell Leadership Bible. So it's a lot of, you know, talk about it. It really expounds on leadership, you know, and, and uh, it's a good Bible to get, you know, especially if you want to learn what leadership is and, and understand more on leadership. It really helps in that aspect. Uh, but it's the New King James Version again. So starting verse 28. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. <laughs> he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall <laughs> but here we go verse 31 but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint My God. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. Lord help. Because it's so much in that that just stands out because, like I said, as a youth, you know, I, 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 I heard it all the time. And it sounded good. It almost sounded cliche -ish. But to read it now. And to, to kind of see the words pop off the page and, and have that understanding where God is speaking is, is powerful. Let's start with verse 28. 
Say, have you not known? Have you not heard? When I think of that, see, we are we are in a world now, in this day and age, where it's, there's all type of doctrine, and you know, I believe there's an attack on uh, the Christian faith. You know that, you know, people are taking the word of God and they're trying to make it their own word, or they're taking, you know little clips from what the word says and trying to 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 make it appeal to their lifestyle you know what i'm saying now the word do talk about how uh uh man see i that that slip hold on i don't know exactly where it is but it talks about how you know uh you were running well you know but who hindered you i think that's in jane um but like i said you know you gotta look it up for yourself. But it the word just talks about that. How how, you know, as Christians, you know, we were running a good race. But what hindered us? What slowed us down? You know, what what are we hearing in, in, in our ear gates that is 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 making us go the opposite direction? Now we've been in this word and we've been praying and we've been fasting and we've been teaching and preaching and doing all of that and living this thing out before the people of God, but yet all of a sudden now, you know, we starting to pull back. We starting to kind of be like, I don't know. I don't know about that God stuff. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> whoa, wait, this God stuff. Aren't you a pastor? No, aren't you a preacher? What you mean this God stuff? It's all, it, it's, it's like, which, well, before I go there, let's go back into the word. So have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth? Neither faints nor is weary. So it's talking about God like, hey, <laughs> do you know who God is? Do you really, do you really, this Isaiah, he like, hey, do you really understand? Have you not known, have you not heard who God is? The creator of the ends of the earth. Neither faints nor is weary. There's a song that say, I'm not tired yet. Well, that's God. He don't, he don't faint, neither is weary. He is not a man that he should lie. So God is always on it. He's always taking care of business. He's always handling what he needs to handle. Why? Because he's God. He's the creator of the ends of the earth. He knew the end before the beginning. So, so what, 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 what's the problem? What are you not under? What are you not understanding about who God is? Have you not known? Have you not heard? Are you? <laughs> do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Come on, man. It says um, his understanding is unsearchable. Now, can I? I want to put a pen in that right there. His understanding is unsearchable. When I talked about how people kind of, you know, we were running well, but, but what hindered us? I think sometimes we want to know God so badly that we start researching. We try, we trying to find out. We're trying to understand. We're trying to, we're trying to get into the mind of Christ. Well, um, let, let, let me let me let me put something in your ear. He's unsearchable. His understanding is unsearchable. You can't understand him. You can't figure him out. Why do you think when uh, God was talking to Moses that he told Moses he couldn't look he couldn't look upon him? He can he could he can walk he can watch him from the back, but he couldn't look upon him. Why? Because Moses wouldn't be able to handle the glory, wouldn't be able to handle the presence of God. He had a whole conversation with him, but he said, "Uh-uh, you can't see me, because you can't handle this. It's too much. I'm too much for you to handle." So why do we think in our feeble mind? 
that we're able to understand who God is. Like, really? We can't even understand our spouses. We can't even understand our children, but yet we're trying to understand God. And then we get mad or upset and walk away from the faith because, you know, see, the, see, there's a, you know, you know, a lot of, t a lot of people like what, you know, people that, that study for tests and stuff like that, you know, when you got a test, I think, I believe, this is just my belief. This is, you don't have to take it for what it is. It just is just my belief. I believe there's a such thing as overstudy. That you can study so much that you'll confuse yourself. Because you done looked at it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. To now, you just like, uh, 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 one plus two. What is one plus two? Because you overloaded yourself. You know, they, like, in, um, in warehouses. I used to work at this place called Compact. Uh, uh, Hewitt, you know, Hewitt, Hewitt Packard. But back in the day, it was called Compact. Computer warehouse and all that. And they had a conveyor belt. And, you know, you're putting computers together and all of that. Well, guess what? It ran at a at a at a steady at a steady pace. Well, what do you think would have happened if somebody would have sped it up? Now you moving, you trying to, you know, you trying to get it all. Huh, huh, huh. It's on overload. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Do what you can do in the space and in the in the time frame and in the action that you have to do it in. But when you try to overload yourself with too much. Something is going to be missing. Something is going to fall out. Something, you know, you're not going to be able to comprehend. And you got people that really be trying to figure out who God is and why God, how God works. God is God. You can't figure him out. He is, his understanding is unsearchable. People be like, man, how could God allow this to happen? Well, if you was reading your word, you would understand that this is, that, when we see these killings and these murders and and, and 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 molestations and and you know all that on the news, guess what? Ain't nothing new. The same thing they were doing in the Bible, we doing it now. Ecclesiastes talk about it. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. Life repeats itself. Life is a recycling bin. It just repeats itself over and over again. You know the only difference about what's going on now versus what's going on then we got more access to stuff we got cameras we got phones we got all type of you know social media stuff so now the same stuff that happened 10 years ago 20 30 40 50 100 a thousand a million years ago is happening now it's just now you can put it out there so everybody can see and we shaking our head this is darn shame that ain't nothing as long as the earth has been in uh, in existence, evil has been in existence. See, that's the problem. That's the root of what's going on. It's the evilness. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need to have an understanding of who we are in Christ Jesus so that we know how to fight this battle that we're in. This is spiritual war. And if the saints are ain't on the front line, then who, who fighting for us? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, and, and like I said, I want to put a pin in that because I just want people to understand. You're not going to know how God moves. You're not going to be able to understand. Even, even if you was to know it, you wouldn't be able to understand it. You wouldn't be able to comprehend it. You can only control what you can control. As simple as that. So if your job here on earth is just to teach the word of God, then just teach it. If it's to preach it, then just preach it. But you ain't got to go to the depths of the earth and really try to find out how God works, how he moves, how da, 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 da. Because guess what? The enemy, Satan, is, is the author of confusion. So as long as he got you going over here, going over there, doing all this, that, 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 you ain't focused. It's, you distracted from your purpose in life. And I'm not telling you something that I just thought of. Oh, I know some people. I know some people that have walked walked away from the faith. I mean, walked away. And I ain't talking about just, you know, babes in Christ. I'm talking about, man, 
leadership have walked away. Why? Because they, they, they tried to figure out who God is. They tried to understand him on a whole nother level. They want to get deep. <laughs> it's okay to be deep, but you better be deep in prayer. Allow God to be God and you be you. We ain't on the same level. God not coming down to our level. Please understand that. We can only be who we are in Christ. Christ died for our sins. That means we have access to God through him. So that means that we got access, but it's just like a, 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 a parent-child relationship. He going to always be the parent. How many of y'all step into y'all parents and trying to be above and, and you know, beyond them? The okay. Hey, exactly. Mama's still mama. Daddy's still daddy. And old as you are, you're going to still respect them. You might not understand why they say or do what they do, but guess what? You respect them. Why? Because <laughs> that's mama, that daddy. Simple as that. I, there is no if, ands, buts about it. They brought you into this earth. So what can you say to them? Now there's some outliners out here. There's some. There's some. There's some. You know, some of those that that think they can talk crazy to their parents. God bless them, because the word even say, uh, "Honor thy father and thy mother, so that you may have, so that you may live long." So you you the one cutting cutting down uh, life on earth by your disrespect and all that, treating your parents any type of way. But that's a whole, that's a whole nother episode by itself. But yeah, so <laughs> let me take the pen back out of that and let's continue on. Verse uh, 19, he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. <sighs> that's so powerful because you got people on this earth that are, you know, kind of naturally strong. And I don't miss it. And I'm not just saying strong as far as, in, you know, muscles and all of that. But they're just strong. They strong minded, you know, got a strong heart. They just they just strong. And then you have those that aren't so strong. You know, every little thing bothers them. Every little thing, you know, it's just like they real timid in a lot of areas. Very timid. In, and you know, I you know, we all done been around and like, oh, what's wrong with you? Man up. Like, you know, man, uh, like what, what's wrong with you? You scared of that? Oh my god, it's you know, you got, you know, scared of bugs. Oh my god, it's a little roach. It's a roach. <laughs> I just threw it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, hey, when you you, you know, when you raise around roaches, you, it ain't nothing. But I'm just saying, you just got people that are Weak in certain areas, you got people that are strong. But God gives power to those who are weak. So this is what God is, is basically saying. Well, this is what you know Isaiah is saying about God. He's basically saying, wherever you are weak, I'm strong. And wherever you are strong, I'm weak. Because guess what? You can't be strong all the time. Hmm. <laughs> you want to say it again? You can't be strong all the time. You have to show some weakness, not weakness as in, oh, you a punk or you weak, but there has, you know, there has to be a part of you that's, that's open to, you know what I'm saying? Like sensitive. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. So you can't be just uh, 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 all the time. You got to be sensitive to certain situations, but God is saying, I'm with you always. So wherever you are deficient in, I'm going to stand in right there and make up for where your deficiency is. One of my favorite movies is Jurassic Park. And, you know, when they do the video about how they created the dinosaur and how, you know, the, the DNA was missing this and that, that, that and then they, they added in the, the little cell or whatever to, you know, complete 
you know, to complete the whole, you know, the DNA strand or whatever. Christ is our DNA. He completes us. <laughs> he completes us in every area of our life. So, 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 uh, to those who are weak, he gives power. And those who have no might, he gives strength. So it's like, man, man. See, God understands and knows. He know our deficiencies. He know where, where we need, you know, that, that extra uh. So when we talk about those that wait, then guess what? We walking around with a lot of heaviness. We walking around carrying things that we shouldn't carry. That's overloading us. But God is saying, if you lean and trust in me, if you're willing and obedient, if you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, guess what? I will be with you always. I will give power to you when you're weak. I will give you strength. Man. Verse 30. <laughs> now, I, I like this because it says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. One thing about young people, they feel like they're invincible. They feel like they know it all. They feel like they can handle whatever you throw at them. But they can't. They 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 not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they might have the makeup, the structure, but even even they. Huh, will faint and grow weary. Even they will, will fall. Why? Because they're trying to do it on their own. See, one thing about this life, you can't do it on your own. You just can't. You can't live this life on your own. Well, I, I think the you can. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how they work out for you. All of this is basically saying you need God in your life. You need God as your head. You need Christ as your Savior. You need the Holy Spirit to comfort and guide you every day. That's how we survive in this crazy world. That's how we survive in, in this jungle that we're in. That's how we make it from day to day. That's how we are able to, to, to uh, work on these jobs and, and uh, you know, love on our families, teaching our children, loving on our spouses. With Christ, with the word of God, understanding, learning, praying, reading, meditating, day and night, never walking away, but always keeping it right, <laughs> keeping it in our heart, number one, but right by our side. And now we're at the Mecca, verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. <laughs> they that wait. They that wait. Basically what it's saying is when you are patient and when you allow, a, when you allow God to do his perfect work in you, There's no, there's, there's nothing you can't do in this life. When you wait on the Lord, he renew your strength. See, it already said that when you were young, that you're going to grow faint and weary because you think you know it all. You think you got it all, but now you don't. You ain't got it. But with God, he will renew your strength. But you got to wait on him. See, Y'all see it and say wait. See, in the Bible, it's wait, W-A-I-T. But I got they that wait. So what I'm saying is, take that weight that you carry, that heaviness in your heart and your mind and your body that you carry, and put it on God. Say, God, I, I can't do it no more. I can't handle this no more. I don't know how to proceed in life. I don't know how to get from point A to point B, God. 
how do I unleash? How do I unload? How do I lose? How do I get rid of? How, how do I get delivered from this weight? And he say, if you just wait on me, put the weight on me. my If you put the weight on me, I will renew your strength. And by renewing your strength now that you've taken the weight off yourself, guess what? You can mount up with wings as eagles. Huh? That means it's time to soar. It's time to go to higher heights. Why? Because you're no longer carrying the weight that you've been carrying. Now you can soar and go to higher heights at different levels and impact others. Because they're going to wonder, man, how you how you do that? Man, we've been watching you all this time. You've been beaten down. You've been stressed out. You look lethargic. You you look heavy. You look like something wrong. How you how you how you doing this? Huh? What? <laughs> and you go to this right here. You go to the word. You shall run and not grow weary. You shall walk and not faint. So not only are you soaring to higher height, but now you're able to run. <laughs> yeah. Now you're able to run. Now you're able to get it. Now you're able to walk and not faint. Like, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. I teach and I preach about weight because we carrying it too much. I'm carrying it too much. I'm speaking to myself. I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm not just, you know, I got something coming that I'm going to start showing y'all. I'm no longer going to hide behind the camera. And say, hey, do this, do that. No, I'm going to be the example. Because 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 I've gotten rid of weight in other areas of my life. But now it's time for this body to go. Because I got to be an example. See, Isaiah was a prophet who lived the life before the people God had given him what to say to the people of Israel so that they could repent and turn from their wicked ways the whole book of Isaiah is about him <laughs> he's like uh, what you want me to say to him I got you just tell him what thus said the Lord I am he So Isaiah, he said, he backed up. He said, it ain't about me. So I'm going to just be willing and obedient. And because of that, lives were changed. Kingdoms of, of, of darkness was torn down. People were able to see the light. The blind was able to see for the first time and taking the level that they never thought they would imagine going. The deaf were able to hear. The mute was able to speak. So are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you mute? Are you weighed down to a point where you don't know how to get to the next part of your life? They that wait. Wait upon the Lord. And he will renew your strength. You should mount up on wings as eagles. You should walk and not, you should run and not be weary. You should walk and not faint. I love you guys. I'm praying for you all. And we're going to work this thing out together. We're going to walk this thing out together. We're going to weigh in together. Because we're not here just to exist in this earth. We're here to be great. We're here to go to higher heights. And, and, and higher levels, we're here to conquer. We're not here just to take up space. God has placed too much in you. He's placed too much in you for you just to be sitting back and existing. So please understand, you have a Savior that loves you. You have a, a, a comfort in the Holy Spirit that's going to that's gonna be with you every, every step of the way. And you got a Father, my God. 
with his arms open wide, waiting on you to come on in. And since you already in, for those who are, hey, guess what? It ain't too late. I remember in Houston when, when you know, we had the hurricanes and the flooding and all that. Then they, you know, uh, uh, one of the, he wasn't a mayor. He was a uh, uh, city controller or something. He was like, turn around, don't drown. They started putting it all on the billboard. Turn around, don't, don't drown. Well, I'm saying that to you. Turn around, don't drown. You see yourself going down the path? You see yourself, you know, being weighed down and, and it just looked like, uh-uh, turn around, don't drown. But it's your boy, Dub Music in the building. Can't wait to talk. We're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Wait in Wednesday. And we done did another. They that wait. <laughs> My God. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Tune in. Well, I'm going to say tune in next Wednesday. Well, yeah, tune in next Wednesday. I got some, I got, got some more coming. But tune in Friday as well. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm a gone, you know, hey, don't say, don't tell nobody. But the uh, Family Secrets video that I did last week, it's been doing real well. So I decided to do a part two. Black sheep. If you the black sheep of the other family, <laughs> boy, you know, we don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you did. But anyway. Love you guys, man. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay focused. And just know, man, don't let weight consume, consume you. Let it fuel you. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs>